Okay, Ross, what did you think about woofing here? Well, first of all, to know that Tahia, my first woofer who was here, to know she came before me immediately put me at ease. And then you guys as a family were so welcoming. You know, you you had a nice little meal, welcome meal. The children brought welcome drinks, even though I was ready to be completely independent. That part was amazing. The tent set up for me was, oh my God, it's like a five-star tent, really. Hey, not everybody's gonna get this deal, so don't let me spoil it for y'all. But uh, the way we're showering out here, the way we, the way you want it, you were like, I'm sleeping under the stars. Let's go get that hammock. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's go do that. Um, just getting to be with the chickens, learning the rituals and the, the things they needed every morning. And uh, I learned how to dump my own toilet out. Like, that's important to me. Yes. How we get rid of our waste in this life. Was it smelly? No! Yeah, Wood a... chips and vinegar for the win! It was amazing! <laughs> we got to uh, get soil samples so that we could start building structures made of adobe or cob. And um, I've been getting ready to uh, doing, like I'm twigging, I'm de-branching, de-twigging, yeah. so that we can create um, food compost and toilet compost. You gotta have, look, all these trees, even when they die, they have a life, they have a use. Everything has a use and that's what I learned out here. So what was the hardest thing out here? Um, at 3 p.m. watching Paula continue to work in the sun. And thinking, oh, she needs me to do that too. The sun is growing. And slowly creeping away without stepping on a snake. <laughs> the sun is so real out here. Thank you.